Hey, I just wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing today and then we're going to um, make some kale and mung bean soup from a recipe that I found on Pinterest and I already made it one time and it was really good. So um, we're going to get started with that in just a minute. But first, um, my shirt is from Ann Taylor, Ann Taylor Loft, and my skirt um, it's just something I picked up from Goodwill. My shoes are um, Ortha heels. I really recommend these um, Ortha heel shoes. They're really good um, orthopedic style shoes. Um, my earrings I just got yesterday from Target. Um, no, I'm sorry. Um, I got these from Belk yesterday. They're Ann Klein earrings. Um, I like them because I don't like heavy earrings and these are super light. Um, they're, they're really light. They're incredibly comfortable. I want to be able to wear pretty earrings during the day even, even if I'm not going to see anybody but my husband. And um, I've been wearing these all day. I'm really, really, really happy with them. Um, I got this necklace yesterday from Target. Just a cute, you know, necklace. And that's it. So um, we'll get started on the soup really soon. Okay, here is everything you need for the mung bean and kale soup. Kale. Salt onions, garlic, olive oil, mung beans, that's M-U-N-G, mung beans, turmeric, cumin, and coriander, and pepper. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is heat your olive oil. Um, I'm quadrupling this recipe because I'm going to um, try to freeze this soup. Um, so I'm using just a really big pot. And so you heat your olive oil and then you add in your um, diced onions and you let that cook for about three minutes. So I actually let my onions cook for about four minutes um, and now it's time to add the garlic. I'm going to give that a stir. I'm going to let it cook for about a minute. And then I'm going to add my spices and my mung beans. You won't see me um, grind the pepper and put that in because I just went ahead and um, ground it into my dish. I didn't measure my spices. I, I know um, how much the recipe calls for, but I just I, I eyeballed it. Um, one thing is I, I definitely added more turmeric than it called for just because turmeric is so good for you. Um, if you don't have turmeric in your house, you should definitely get some. Um, turmeric has a lot of anti-inflammatory properties um, and it's just it's a, it's a really powerful um, ingredient. So, and it's very, very tasty. It's excellent in um, scrambled tofu um, is one thing that it's really good on. So, let me just go grab my mung beans and we'll put the spices and the mung beans in the pan.
Also, in the first image, I didn't, I didn't um, say to put, you know, that one of the ingredients is water, but obviously you're going to need water, you know, for this soup. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put my spices in first. Give it a little stir. I'm going to pour my mung beans in there. of cooking like rice peel off um, since I'm adding this before um, adding the water. Okay, um, so I stirred, you know, the mung beans, um, the spices, the onions, and the garlic all together, and I let that cook for about 30 seconds just like that. And now I'm going to add the water. Give it a stir. And then now what it's time to do is just let it, um, let it cook. Um, I would let it cook on, I'm not sure right off what the recipe says, but I'm going to let it cook at like a, a simmer. Um, I'm going to set my stove to maybe four and um, you let it cook for about 35 minutes and then um, we're going to come back and we're going to let it cook for about 35 minutes covered um, and then we're going to come back and add the kale. Um, I'm going to I'm going to turn this video off and I am going to add um, about two more, um, about 16 more cups of water um, because I, I'm making a lot of soup. Um. Okay, so the soup has been cooking for about 35 minutes and now I'm just going to add the kale. room in my pan to give it a stir and I'm not going to cook it much more in fact I mean my soup is pretty darn hot um, in fact I'm just going to turn it off right now and the reason that I'm going to do that is because um, it's about it's three o'clock in the afternoon and I'm not going to be eating this for a few hours um, and also I'm going to be freezing some. So I think it's hot enough to cook the kale sufficiently, um, but not too much um, because again, I'm going to be reheating it to have it for dinner and I'm going to freeze some, um, you know, to eat at another time. So I will show you what this looks like. It looks, it looks really good. Actually, before I show it to you, let me taste it um, and see if I need to add anything else to it. I'm going to use a long spoon for this. I love these long ice cream spoons. I know it's an ice cream spoon, but um, I love them for things like this. So I'm not going to get any kale because I know that I just, you know, I just put that in there. One of the other ingredients in the recipe was salt, and I did put a little bit of salt in, um, but it needs more. So I'm going to um, add some more salt and maybe a little bit more pepper. 
um, but it, it's really good. And I'm going to provide um, all of the information about where this recipe came from. I found it on Pinterest. Um, it links back to a, a blog. Um, and um, it's really good. It's, I was really impressed um, with this soup. My whole family was. So um, I'm going to turn the camera around, show you what the soup looks like um, now, and then um, I'll also show you when I have it in the freezer bags. Okay guys, so here is the kale and mung bean soup um, in the freezer bags. Um, I had a little bit of it in a dish um, just to kind of try it out um, while the rest of it was cooling enough to put in the bags. And I liked mine with a little bit of Bragg liquid aminos um, squirted on top. That was really yummy. Um, so anyway, to cool the soup down, I put the in I, I had a clean sink and I filled my clean sink with really cold water, and I um, put the whole pot in there and um, with the lid on it. And then after about five or six minutes, the heat transferred and the water was warm. Um, and so I took the pot out, drained it, and I did that one more time. So I did that a total of two times. And it's not, I mean, it's not cool, um, but it's, you know, it's not hot anymore. Um, so I think it's ready to be put in the freezer. And I like to lay these flat in the freezer. They're not the same size, but I didn't. One day we'll have a little extra. One day we'll have a little less. So it'll be good. Thanks for watching.